Bon dia. I bet you already know that this isn't Alan. I'm Wolf. Today, you are stuck with me. We are exploring the island of Porto Santo, part of the archipelago of Madeira in Portugal. The island is called the Golden Island due to the color of the sand on the beaches. These beaches are sometimes listed as the best in Europe, depending on who's telling the story. The island offers much more than just the beautiful golden beaches, so we are going to show you around the top spots to enjoy yourself while we think about what makes us happy. We hope you find our journey helpful as you work to navigate your own. It'll be fun. By Ser Divertido. We have found satisfaction in life, traveling to see and do new things. I am sure you've noticed that I enjoy filming, editing, creating things to share with others, but really the entire process of learning brings happiness to my life. Think about yourself as I show you around Porto Santo. Let's get going. The ferry ride is a wonderful way to see the island of Madeira from a different point of view, from the water. Since the port in Funchal is in the center of the island, the ferry travels along the coast of Madeira, out to the point of the island before Madeira shrinks into the distance. Along the way, we got to see some dolphins too. Maybe next time we'll see a whale. Thanks for being here. I'm Wolf. I'm here with my father, Alan, mother, Leslie, our dog, Greer, and Rex, the cat. We are from the United States and now live in Portugal on the beautiful island of Madeira. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. The island is known for its beautiful sandy beaches, particularly the Porto Santo Beach, which stretches for about nine kilometers along the southern coast. Spotted with hotels, restaurants, and rental places for chairs all along the beach makes this beautiful beach the perfect place to spend time while you're on the island. The sand is golden in color, and is believed to have therapeutic properties, attracting visitors seeking relaxation and wellness. In fact, Porto Santo is often referred to as the Golden Island due to its wonderful sandy beaches. The island's climate is mild and pleasant, with warm summers and mild winters. It makes for an appealing destination for beach lovers throughout the year. We visited several other beaches while on the island. Ponta da Calieta Beach is located on the southern end of the island, and while this area isn't as busy, it's a lovely place to have a nice lunch and the perfect area to go kayaking for the day. Zimbalino Beach is on the southern side of the island, kind of tucked away. You can get there with a short hike or take a kayak. We really enjoyed the quiet of Callao de Serra, which is in another small hidden beach, but is located on the northeast side of the island. It's easy to see how to get there when you look down from your walk along Pico Branco. There are many other wonderful beaches to explore, along with some natural tidal pools where you can snorkel, such as Porto dos Frades. Any trip to the island starts with plans to spend some time on one of, or all of, the beautiful sand beaches. We are viewer-supported. If you enjoy our videos, we invite you to join our Patreon community. We visited the basalt columns at Pico Ana Ferreira. These volcanic rock formations are fantastic and reminded us a little of our time at Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, uh, without the rain and a, a lot warmer. As you hike up the short trail to the base, you are overlooking the golf course and can see all the way to the port. It's truly a wonderful vantage point to see the island from. The trail around the base provides a panoramic view of the island. From here, we zipped over to visit the Quinta das Palmeiras, an oasis in the middle of the island, just west of the airport. And what a pleasant surprise. The garden's lovely and filled with birds from all over the world. We enjoyed this small lush garden in the middle of the sand and rock. It's not just due to being an English channel that we shy away from using Portuguese. As with everything, it's all about the journey, and sometimes we meander and make that journey take a while. Learning Portuguese has been like that for us. However, we are making good steps forward, and would like to offer you to join us in learning the language. Our teacher Anita is an experienced and highly recommended language teacher. She will be hosting a special free one and a half hour class just for our followers. 
we invite you to sign up and join us for this free class, being held on July 5th at 6 p.m. Madeira time. This free class will help us kickstart our Portuguese learning journey together. To secure your spot, use the link in the description. We've personally worked with Anita and found her teaching style to be a perfect fit for our needs. Her professionally designed, self-paced courses are easy to follow, providing a solid foundation in Portuguese. Additionally, there's a conversation room where you can practice with fellow learners in the program. We'll be joining you, so get ready for an enjoyable experience. We visited the Flores Miradoro, which is located on the south coast of the island. This viewpoint overlooks Porto Santa Beach. The golden sand beaches really do seem to follow you everywhere on this island. From here, you can also view Ilhó de Baixo, Ilhó do Ferro, and Ilhó do Cima. Makes you want to grab a kayak and start paddling. We were able to see all the way to the Desertos and to the island Madeira, around 60 kilometers away. This is the perfect place to sit down and enjoy the moment. As my parents say, life is short, and maybe we should have done this sooner. From there, we went around and viewed several other viewpoints all over the island. We recommend to stop at Ponta da Canavaira viewpoint, which is located just below on the western tip of the island. This area is rocky with big cliff views. You can see to Merida from here as well. Take advantage of the picnic areas you'll pass along the way. Pico Castello viewpoint has a fantastic view at about 430 meters or 1,400 feet. From here, you can see the bay in the center of Villa Balaida, the main area of town. You can hike 3.2 kilometers along the path from Camacho and around the highest peak of the, on the island. Pico de Nacho stands at 516 meters or over 1,500 feet. This area is also covered with lush green plant material and was planted by Antonio Bon de Souza Chiapa de Azevedo. He lived from 1870 to 1926 and was responsible for starting the reforestation of this area of the island. Earlier I told you how Porto Santa is around 60 kilometers from Medida. He would travel this distance to and from the island as often as needed to care for these plants. His dedication is one of the reasons you can enjoy the beautiful green landscape today. To round out today, we're going to show you a hike to Pico Branco. Getting to Pico Branco is a 2.7 kilometer hike along the Terra Shaw Trail. This trail, which is located on the east coast side of the island, winds up the side of the mountain and takes you to the Terra Shaw viewpoint. Pico Branco is the second highest peak on Porto Santo, standing about 450 meters. As you climb the hillside, you will notice the change in plant material. Once at the top, plan to sit and enjoy your time in the shade. From barren, rocky lands, to a beautiful evergreen covered oasis at the top. We recommend you go early before the heat of the day since the climb up is out in the open and the sun is quite strong. Overall, Porto Santo holds many years of peaceful family time for us to explore together. The island is undeniably a captivating island destination that embodies tranquility, stunning beaches, and a fascinating historical backdrop. Whether you seek a beach escape outdoor explorations, or a serene retreat, Puerto Santo has it all. We already intend to go back later this year. Life is a gift you can give yourself. Enjoy it. Please give us your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you continue to come along with us on our new adventure. Life is short. We should have done this sooner. The next stage in your life is a journey. Até a próxima.